The Regency Stoke Newington lost thousands to the craze. It began with nipping, that's to say running up vast bills for food and drink which they knew the owners would never dare ask them to pay. Tony and John Barry, joint owners of the Regency, described the night members of the firm came to put them on the pension. We broke the doors in to get in, and then downstairs, Adam went down to see what it was all about, and they got hold of him right away and gave him a crunch with a gun, pushed the gun up his nose, and they said, get hold of Johnny Barry, we want to speak to him. You're going on a pension scheme. I said, well, what's it all about? I said, uh, pension scheme, uh, he said, you want to pay £50 a week. So I said, uh, oh, all right, no, no, I thought, there's going to be some trouble here, you know what I mean? And I thought, I said, all right, lovely, I'll, I'll, you know, I said, I'll pay it. I said, uh, this how it's got to be. I said, like, let's have a drink, because I was frightened at what I was going to do. And as it, I'm talking, one of the firms got the gun on Alan, and he said, if you don't pay, he said, we're going to shoot one of your men every week. He said, he can go now, he said, if you want to be funny. So I said, leave all. I said, uh, you know. I said, let's have a drink. I said, I'll pay it. I said, and that's the end of it. Tony, give me some examples of the kind of violence that the craze were involved in here. Uh, well, one night we was out, I came back from Stratton. It was my night off, and uh, I've been out with Mr. Clark, who's our doorman. And as we came into the foyer, they was arguing with uh, a man who we know. And um, Reggie asked him one or two questions, and with that, he's pulled out a flick knife and struck the man right across the face. That man was Buller Ward. We went away with about 30 stitches, 36 stitches, something like 32 stitches, I'm not quite sure. And that was it. Why did one of the twins have to use a knife? Well, I think it was because, um, I don't know if they thought that I was a bit too much for one of them, because when he threw me these punches, I said to him, if that's the hardest you can hit, you'll have to do a lot better than that. And consequently, this is what happened. Didn't it ever cross your mind, Tony, that you could stop this by calling the police? By the time you'd have called the police and they'd have gone here, the craze would have gone. And apart from that, there would have been repercussions afterwards. They could always come back here, whereas you could never find, the police could never find them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please join our Facebook group. It's called Craze Crime Lords of London. We're a friendly moderated group with over 1,000 Cray and other celebrated gangster videos available for view. There's also thousands of images in the photos sections. The link for the group is in the YouTube description section. I hope we see you there soon.